up guys Sean here so we are at a different campground this weekend we are at High Bluff campground on Lake Talquin this is my first time here so I'm kind of out of my comfort zone we got a late start today so I didn't really get a chance to show setting up and everything but that's okay I've just got the tarp over the Jeep be sleeping inside the Jeep not a big deal feels like we got a little storm coming though so I've kind of got the hatches batting down I guess um, but we're going to be hitting the sack here in a little while anyway, but I will finish my mixed drink and chill here a little bit. I'll catch you guys in the morning. Let's get it. Hey, good morning. So, slept pretty good last night. Never really sleep as good in the Jeep as I do uh, in the hammock, but I slept pretty good last night. This is a beautiful spot right here. So we are at Site 19 at High Bluff Campground. Now we do have neighbors that are pretty close, but it wasn't bad. They were very considerate and quiet time hit about 10 o'clock last night and everybody got quiet. It was not really bad at all and uh i brought an extra bag of ice on accident and when i got here i just offered it to them and they were happy to take it so there's uh a lot of fishing going on around here right now i guess the fish are biting so i have heard a couple boats already this morning but we are under a tornado watch from about 6 30 this morning till 2 this afternoon so that that might get fun but no matter we're gonna hunker down and uh, enjoy ourselves this morning I'm gonna make me some coffee but I also have this little breakfast skillet that I'm gonna eat this morning now I've got my core I could have brought bacon and eggs and all that stuff but I decided not to do that there are buzzards flying around overhead I hope that's not an omen for the rest of the day <laughs> skillet rehydrating I've had this one before it's really good so I'm looking forward to that this morning I realized in my coffee bag that I had stuff for cozy coffee so I got me some cozy coffee this morning that's pretty nice I didn't put uh, any alcohol in my cozy coffee so essentially it's I think it's cafe mocha it's got the uh, basically coffee and hot chocolate But that's still a good combination. I like it anyway. Well, this is a pretty spot here. You can see the lake right here from camp. Looks like there's a little island across over there. I thought about bringing my kayak, but I wasn't sure. This is my first time being here, so I wasn't sure if I'd be able to use it or be able to get to it. And if you walk down that hill right there, there is a place down there where you can tie up kayaks and some folks have got some stuff tied up down there. I wish I'd brought mine now though, because I'd like to go paddle around that little island over there and see what's over there. But my buddy Jimmy and Tim were supposed to come this weekend, but uh, Tim had an emergency at home and had to go back. So that's unfortunate. I don't think they'll get, get back up here. So it's just going to be me, I think that's okay got in really late last night so I didn't really get to check the place out 
So here in a little while after we eat breakfast, we're gonna go check this place out. Doesn't look like there's a ton of people here, but uh, it's a beautiful little spot on this lake though, I can tell you that. Well, I figured since we're letting that go ahead and rehydrate, let's walk down here to the dock and check that out and uh, drink our coffee by the water. Sounds like a good plan to me. This is a good sized lake here. I kind of am glad I didn't bring my kayak because I would be tempted to try to paddle still and it's not, not going to be nice paddling weather today and that would have been just unnecessary effort. The uh, storm starting to roll in, I can feel it. it's really windy. But that's okay. I can chill at camp. I can see the lake from camp, so that's nice. But I can chill at, chill at camp, and I've got my little gas stove I can cook food with. And I kind of was expecting, it said that this was a primitive site, and I really didn't look at the pictures good. And uh, so I thought it was a little more primitive than this. There's not really, much way to gather gather firewood um, and the way my Jeep set up I can't like take off and run back to town and buy some firewood or I'd have to break everything down so I'm not gonna do that I may try to see if somebody's leaving see if I can buy some firewood from them or something but if I can't buy firewood if I can't find firewood I'm not gonna worry about it I don't have to have a fire uh, it's not going to be cold enough to really need a fire, and uh, I can do everything I need with my little gas stove. So that's the nice thing about this uh, little overlanding setup. Now I do have some changes that I want to make, and uh, things that are going to make it a little easier. But I really do like the uh, overlanding setup. I love my hammock camping. And my, you know, hiking, backpacking, primitive camping kind of thing. But I'll tell you, for folks that have a disability, some sort of disability, you can't hike in a camp, that sort of thing. Overlanding is a good option for you, and that's something that I learned, or I have been learning, but I really learned a lot with uh, last week's video. When I went to the uh, the expo, um, there's a lot of folks who are, you know, physically impaired that are overlanding, and that's how they're getting back out. And uh, I think it's awesome, honestly. But this is a beautiful place here. If it was a beautiful sunny day. This would be a nice place to paddle. I would love to go check out the little island there. And there's an island back over there, an island over there. 
Although some of these look like just little cypress clumps, so I don't know if there's actually any island or anything to it. That may be the same thing, but I'd still like to go check it out. It'd be really cool. I bet there's some good fishing in here. My camp is just right up there, just up that hill. It's pretty cool. So <clears throat> this site does not have any hookups. There's no uh, electric hookups. There's no water or sewer hookups. So if you come here, you gotta make sure you bring uh, the water you need. There's no potable water on site. But as you can see, people still bring their uh, campers and stuff. They do have fault toilets, which is nice. Um, doesn't really have a smell which sometimes vault toilets can have there's some containers here for garbage and uh, all in all the site is pretty well picked up and clean um, this can it's full but and there's two garbage bags here but the uh, gentleman I talked to this morning said somebody would be by to clean the canisters here in a little while so that's pretty cool it's a nice little campsite so it's wooded with pines and oaks and uh, as you can see like it's a pretty nice little site now the, the sites are somewhat close together um, and that's not my favorite but uh, you got to take the good with the bad and this is a nice site so if that's something you can deal with this would be a, a nice place. Here in just a little while after we eat breakfast, I'm gonna walk down the road here and uh, check out some other sites down there and see what's down that way. I think the boat ramp is down there. So we'll go check that out. But uh, pretty happy with this place, pretty nice. So here's what I mean by the sites are pretty close together. So as you can see, you got seven here. Right across over there, there's another fire pit with a campsite. And right next to it's another fire pit with a campsite. So they have packed them in pretty tight in here. But right now, the place is somewhat empty. Uh-oh. Here comes the rain. Well, looks like I made it back to camp just in time. So it did sprinkle for a few minutes um, on the way back over here, but not hard. But... I can see across that lake it looks like there's another big band coming so this may be a just set in camp and chill kind of kind of video but that's okay I needed one of those I need something to just literally sit here in my chair I may do some carving I don't know I may just listen to my audiobook and relax and that's okay that's good there's a lot here this is a two-person meal and they packed this one up packed it full but that's pretty good I like the peak refuels I did doctor it up with some salt and pepper though that definitely helps oh I got hot sauce I'm gonna grab some hot sauce when we had that florida bushcraft camp out i got an assortment of hot sauces these little one dollar hot sauces that they have for samples at walmart and there were some really good ones one of the really good ones was a black truffle hot sauce that stuff is awesome but this one is really good too this is a sweet thai chili hot sauce and this is really good i like that flavor profile sweet sweet thai chili mm yeah it's really good so we're gonna try that in here 
Just a little bit. I bet that'll be good. Give it a shot. Oh, yeah. That's good eating now. in the rain but it hasn't rained yet it's sprinkled a little bit on and off but it hasn't really rained and I sat there under my tarp I ate my breakfast kicked back and relaxed even went back to sleep for a few minutes sitting in my chair but I can't just stay holed up under that tarp like this if it's just threatening to rain so I figured I'd walk around a little bit put my rain jacket on just in case but uh walk around a little bit show you some of these campsites and uh just see what we can find so we're at campsite 19 back over there this is campsite 18 here and then got a little patch of woods between it campsite 17 16 and 15 right down through here these are pretty nice little campsites these are angled and they're you know kind of separated you've got more of the campsites on this side but they are they are pretty close together so if that's not something you're into high bluff campground might not be your place but it's pretty sparse right now as far as people and I don't know if that's because of the weather this weekend or what but not a whole bunch of people in here But uh, pretty nice little, pretty nice little area. Of course, now that I start walking down here, it's gonna start trying to rain again. That's okay. There's a pavilion over here. We'll try to get under real quick. I think. Farm again. By the time I got to the pavilion, the little bit of sprinkling had stopped. So, pretty nice little pavilion. Doesn't look like it gets used all that often. There's no picnic tables or anything under there, but not a bad little spot. There is some concrete picnic tables down the hill there. Yeah, this place doesn't look like it gets a whole lot of uh, a whole lot of action here, so this might be sort of a uh, a nice little uh, hidden gem. I don't know if you have ever camped here, or if you know more information about this area. Leave in the comments below. I'd be interested to know what everybody else thinks about this area and has experienced here. So. Definitely gonna get us a little storm here. A uh, dark looking cloud coming yonder, and that's a rough, rough looking little lake, or that's a big lake actually. It's really cool though. This boat ramp here isn't too bad, so uh, they've got some parking along that top up there, and the, the ramp itself looks like it's pretty well maintained so uh if you wanted to put a boat in out here you'd probably do okay right there it doesn't look too slimy or anything like that so that's pretty nice 
I would like to come back with my kayak on a weekend that's not going to be stormy like this and uh, paddle it, man, around these edges. It's, it's huge, but it looks really cool. Of course, it will wait until we're out to do this, but that's okay. I'm prepared for it. We are hustling back to camp now, though. Well, we made it back fairly dry. That was a uh, <laughs> pretty good timing, I guess. I uh, was on my way back already when it started to rain, so hustled up a little bit and made it, no problem. But it's starting to uh, start to storm, so I think I'm gonna take my shoes back off and kick back and just enjoy this rain. started to turn away, hesitated, and then turned to face John again. Things have gone awry. <laughs> Our uh, nice little uh, rainstorm has turned into a pretty nasty thunderstorm. Lightning popping left and right. It literally popped so loud here a second ago that I got out to see if those folks over there were still okay. And it uh, looks like they have gone inside. But, uh, yeah. It's storming now. We had a tornado watching. Tornado watch until two, so maybe the storm will blow on through and and uh, get done. But whew, you guys know I don't like that lightning. I don't like it. like we made it through it the storm has passed and the radar looks like it's up above us now i was gonna sit here and do some carving i split down one of these two by two inch squares but uh it didn't split down too good it chunked all out on me and everything but i think we'll just carve it and see what comes out of it well some days are carving days and some days just aren't this piece of wood keeps chipping out on me and i've tried everything i know to do i turn the wood around and cut the other direction uh re and sharpen my knife and uh it's just not working so i think i want to bail on this idea just it isn't fun right now so i'm gonna bail on this idea i think and uh I'm gonna make me something for lunch. So I have been pretty much just laying around and not doing a whole lot. And honestly, I think that's kind of just what I'm in the mood for. Listening to my audio book and just chilling. So I know that's not a very exciting video to watch, but uh, that's just where we're at, I think. So I'm gonna make me some lunch, sir. So for lunch today, 
figured I'd do something a little different. I have some Italian sausage. I'm going to cook a couple of these up. I have some brioche buns for them. And uh, I think that's going to be a good lunch. Well, I definitely would have preferred to grill these things over a campfire or some charcoal or something rather than frying them in that pan. They got pretty dark in that pan. That's not burned, burned like it looks in the picture. Uh, it's just really dark. But uh, I got some of this. Where is it at? Fire roasted garlic and habanero. And... Uh, I think that's pretty gonna be pretty good i didn't bring any mustard that's what i would have typically put on this was just mustard but uh i forgot it so it is what it is try these out still tastes pretty dang good though well i just finished up eating my lunch and uh I was just putting my shoes on because I was going to walk back down. I've still got some bread left. I was going to walk back down to the little dock down there and throw some bread out, see if I could get some fish to come up for the bread. And all of a sudden, <clears throat> out of nowhere, it starts thundering back behind me again. I look on the radar and there's another big band coming. So, I don't know. I guess uh looks like we're going to be locked in again for some rain for a little while. So, I'm going to go ahead and chill a little bit longer. I feel like I haven't done anything but just sit here, but that's just how this one has been. And that's actually fine with me. That's that's not really a bad thing. Um, it just doesn't make for a very good video. But I've just been relaxing. And uh, so, it's just, it is what it is, you know. Sometimes that's what it's like. I know I shouldn't, but it makes me want to make another cup of coffee. I do have decaf, though. I could make some decaf coffee. I might just do that. It's neat. You can't... I'm not going to walk out there in the rain to show you, but... Uh, all of a sudden, there's a fog on the lake out there. That's pretty cool. I went ahead and made some more coffee. It does look like it's starting to slack up a little bit, so maybe it'll be done. Um, but for decaf, I've got this Folgers decaf, and it's not my favorite. Um, but I can't find Cafe Bustelo decaf in those little pouches. And they're so convenient that I've come to just prefer those little packets so if you guys have a suggestion for decaf coffee that comes in the little packets put it in the comments below because I could use the help not a huge fan of this Folgers decaf so uh, if you got something good let me know but since it's afternoon now I do have some Michael's apple pie Irish cream so we're gonna go ahead if I can get it open hands are a little wet. There we go. I don't know how Irish or apple pie Irish cream is going to go in coffee, but we're going to find out. Afternoon coffee. That's pretty good. 
pretty good. Oh, you know what it tastes like? It tastes like after a holiday when you got leftover pie and you get up in the morning, you make a cup of coffee and you heat up a little piece of that pie. That's what it tastes like. That might be a winner. I like that. All right, so full disclosure. I drank my coffee and I kicked back and I fell asleep for about an hour and 45 minutes. So I have pretty much slept the day away or rocked the day away. But now I'm gonna walk down here since it's not raining anymore. Walk down here to the uh, dock, take a little bit of bread, and just see if we can get some fish to come up. I think that's a little gator right over there. Oh well, apparently we're not getting any fish action today, so glad I wasn't banking on it, but uh, then we're going to head back to camp now and look into making some dinner, I guess. Alright, so tonight for dinner we're going to do something that I like to call Big Boy Ramen, so I've got this... Uh, this is the Shen Black from Nong Shen. We get these from Walmart. And uh, this one is really, really good. It's not like those cheap packs of ramen. And then tonight I'm gonna add some fajita steak to it. I think that'll be really good and kind of bump it up a little bit. So we're gonna try that out. I think it'll be good. While we're waiting on that, let's make it a mixed drink. Still got this great big bottle that I had left over from Florida Bushcraft Camp, whenever that was, a month or so ago. Got some ice. That's nice to have in camp. And of course, A Dr. Pepper. Got a little bit left. Cheers. So this is 
boiling down. Once it gets down a little bit, well, no, it's about right. I'm going to go ahead and add my seasoning packets to it. And then I'll add some steak to it because that steak is already pre-cooked. It just needs to be heated through. But I think if I cook it in there with the seasoning packets and everything, that'll be really good. As you can see, we have lost the light. But, let's try this out. <laughs> oh man. Oh, that is good. Yeah, you gotta try that. That ramen with that little bit of steak in there so easy mm. that's delicious so uh, I think I'm gonna go ahead and finish eating my dinner and uh, my neighbors over here gave me some firewood I can build me a little fire with so I can go sit around the fire for a little while and uh, that'll be nice I got my um I can never remember the name of that thing I don't know why I can never remember the name of this thing my thermosel I got my thermosel a good one and uh it's supposed to be a good one there it goes so I got my thermosel going. The mosquitoes are getting kind of bad. There we go. So the mosquitoes are getting kind of bad. I'm going to let that thermosel run for a little bit. I'll eat my dinner and then I'm going to build me a fire. Man. I've only got a few sticks of firewood, so I'm gonna sit here and enjoy this fire, drink my mixed drink, and I'll see you guys in the morning. Well, good morning. Boy, that sunrise was beautiful this morning. 
I uh, almost slept through it, so I, w I slept really good last night, and uh, the temperature dropped last night, and I had those windows open, and that cool breeze was blowing through there, and I just cuddled up under my top quilt, and it was comfortable. So I slept really good last night, and uh, I woke up, and I thought it was still dark because that tarp was over the windows and I just happened to set up a little bit and look out the back and I could see the sunrise starting I was like crap so I jumped up real quick and <clears throat> ran down and put the camera out but uh man it was that was a beautiful sunrise this morning I'm ready for some coffee I think I went to bed last night about 10 o'clock I slept almost nine hours <laughs> That's, that was a lot for me, so, I slept really good. This has been a very, very relaxing trip. I needed it. Been thinking about some things, I've got some things going on I've been uh, needing to really spend some time thinking about, and I had the time, so it's been nice. I'm ready for a cup of coffee this morning, though I know that much. Coffee. Oh, that's good. So I have one of these uh, maple and brown sugar oatmeal cups. And one pack of oatmeal ain't enough for me. So I just add the other pack in here. And then when I'm done, I can just throw it all away. So. That works out pretty good. Well, that was cutting it close. I ended up having just enough gas left to make two cups of coffee and my oatmeal. And then it's empty. So I have to re up on my gas containers from my stove. But I used all of it, so gotta look at the bright side, right? That is all done. I think I'm gonna finish drinking my coffee and get this place cleaned up and get back on the road. Look at all the pollen on that tent or on that tarp. I mean, that's crazy. Man, this has been an awesome trip. I really had a good time. I know it rained, but that was fine. And now it's absolutely gorgeous and I hate to leave. Next time I'll bring my kayak though for sure. But I'm all packed up and I'm ready to go. And uh, all there is to do now is put this thing on the road, but I had a good time. I hope you enjoyed the video. If you did, give it a big thumbs up for me. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button down there. 
You can follow us on Instagram and on Facebook. And uh, leave me a comment below. Let me know if you've ever camped at High Bluff Camp on Lake Talquin. Appreciate you guys watching. See you next week. Look at the pollen. That gives me a sinus headache just looking at it.